Morgan Williams, and this is the weekly tip-off for KSUowls.com. Later in the show, I'm going to be talking with Coach Giannis. She's the head coach of women's lacrosse about their first ever program win. So first, let me start out by congratulating the ladies. On Friday, the Howard Bison came into town. Kennesaw played tough in the first half, amassing a 7-4 halftime lead. The Owls held a lead for much of the second half until the Bison tied the game at 13 with a minute 35 left in the game. However, it was Emily Collins who scored her seventh goal of the game 30 seconds later to solidify this history. KSU's leading scorer, Seneca Ward, added six goals to her season total. The women lost two days later in a rain delay game to Stetson, but their conference tournament fate is still in their hands. The baseball team kicked off their series with a huge 14-4 win over Jacksonville. Unfortunately, they dropped the next two in the series. In an extra inning affair on Tuesday in Kennesaw, KSU lost the Georgia State rematch 3-2 in 10 innings. Softball won the second game of the doubleheader at Stetson on Saturday and ended up losing the rubber match on Sunday. Both tennis teams face USC Upstate and ETSU this weekend at home. The men lost both matches, falling to Upstate 6-1 and ETSU 7-0. The women won against USC Upstate 4-3 and lost to ETSU 5-2. The women will head up to ETSU this weekend for the A-Sun Tournament. Now, I sat down with Coach Giannis, and we talked about her win this past weekend versus Howard and looked ahead at this weekend's game. Now, Coach, last weekend versus Howard, when there was two minutes left to go and they tied it up, what was going through your head? I was still confident with my team. I know that they had the ability to win that game, and they were disciplined, and I knew that I knew they were fighting for the win. So I was, I was pretty calm for the situation. And then when Emily Collins scored the go-ahead goal, what was your reaction? I was very excited for her. I was excited for our, our team, our program, for Kennesaw State Athletics. Um, we, we worked really hard on our game plan going into that game, and, and we executed it. And Emily was tenacious in getting that point for us. And did you see a sort of shift in attitude amongst the team for practice the upcoming week? Yes. Um, we had actually, we were fortunate we had two full weeks to prepare for Howard. And so the week before game week, we called it our prep week, where, mm -hmm. where we ironed out some wrink wrinkles in our previous execution of game plans, and then the week going into the game, we were really um, focused on, on what it was going to take for this specific opponent. Um, they, were, they were excited, and they knew the conference tournament was on the line. Now, this upcoming weekend, I know there's a lot of excitement there. It's your last game before conference. Yes. What's sort of your mindset and outlook going into this weekend? Again, it's, it's executing the game plan, knowing our opponent. We've done some film. The coaching staff has, has picked up on um, Detroit Mercy's tendencies, and we're relaying that to the team where we see fit. It's always important to, to really understand our strengths and weaknesses before we think about somebody else's. So that's just what we've been doing to prepare. And what have you been trying to strengthen as a team? Definitely execution on the defensive end. Uh, we've tried to be more uh, focused and crisp on our double teams and, and aggression on the ball carrier. And then in terms on the offensive side, we really just want to exploit the defenses, the opposing team's holes on their defensive unit and, and look to some other people to step up and contribute on that end. Well, good luck to the women's lacrosse team as they travel up to Detroit, Michigan to take on the Titans. This is the ladies' last game before the A-Sun Conference Tournament next weekend. Kennesaw State can clinch an Atlantic Sun Conference Tournament berth by beating Detroit or by Stetson winning against Howard. Also this weekend, we want to wish women's tennis good luck as they travel up to Johnson City, Tennessee to participate in the 2013 Atlantic Sun Championship. The team will enter the tournament as the number six seed, matching up against third seed USC Upstate in the first round, who they beat earlier this season 4-3. Also, don't forget to come by the Bailey Complex this weekend and cheer on women's softball as they face the Jacksonville Dolphins. Action begins Saturday at 1 p.m. in a doubleheader, and then they'll finish up the series on Sunday. Also on Saturday will be Lexi Day at the Bailey Complex, with tickets for the event being sold for $10. Also on Saturday, the Owls will be celebrating Senior Day as Kennesaw State will honor the careers of seniors Abby Mixon, Jensen Hackett, Jamie Saunders, and Sharon Swanson. Baseball will also be back in action with Atlantic Sun Conference play as they travel down to Jacksonville to take on North Florida in a three-game series. 
And you can follow the Owls on Twitter at KSU Owl Nation for score updates and news on Kennesaw State Athletics. That's all this week for the weekly tip-off. I'm Morgan Williams. See you next week. Thank <laughs> you.